I'm sure somebody probably would say, well, that means you shouldn't lead singing that way at a, at a funeral. Well, you folks, you got to understand, the boss is still watching me. So I've got to do it the way he likes it done. I got to do it the way the boss likes it done, because the boss is still watching me. He said, Brian, they're talking about the Lord. Let's watch. The church staff would also like to thank you not only for coming tonight, but also for loving our boss through the years. And in many cases, even taking care of our boss when he was at your church. There are pastors here tonight that often had him speak in your pulpit. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, who's their boss? Here. Not there. Oh, they're not a cult, though. They're, they, they weren't a cult. Let's continue. Watch, watch some of this satanic idolatry here, comparing Jack Hiles to God himself. Watch. So we especially want to thank you for loving our boss. So I want to thank you for your love and in many cases your loyalty to our boss. You see, to us, the staff here at the church, Brother Hiles was much more than just a boss. He was somehow also a co-laborer. We rarely ever felt like we worked for Brother Hiles. We felt like we worked with Brother Hiles. Somehow he could be a boss and a co-laborer, and at the same time he was also our pastor, our strength. Our pastor, our strength. I thought the Bible said that I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. I thought our strength was supposed to be from the Lord. Oh, no, that's right. It was supposed to be our boss, Jack Hiles. Blasphemy. Let's continue. Our advisor, our counselor. Sure, he was Moses, Jeremiah, John the Baptist, Paul the Apostle, Billy Sunday, Bob Jones Sr., and John R. Rice all rolled into one. But he was also the guy next door. Again, logically reason this stuff out. If a man could be Moses, Jeremiah, uh, John the Baptist, Paul, um, John R. Rice, Bob Jones Sr., I forget if there were any others that he said. If a man could be all those things, how could he be comparable to the guy next door? And what idolatry to think that any man could hold that kind of a title, that kind of a position. But you see that the way the satanic cult works is once the cult leader dies, the cult of personality dies, it starts to crumble. And Hiles Anderson College is crumbling right now. They have videos, check out their YouTube channel, they have videos pleading for money and, you know, we're really starting to hurt and everything else. They're falling apart. They're not going to survive. Good riddance. Continuing. I'll tell you the answer. Brother Hiles actually knew God on a personal basis. And part of God's personality rubbed off on Brother Hiles. Just like your best friend's personality rubs off on you. In that way, Brother Hiles was a lot like God, like he was in many ways. Since I believe that God can have a unique individual relationship with everyone all at the same time, it was not difficult for me to understand that to an extent Brother Hiles could have a unique individual relationship with thousands of people all at the same time. Brother Hiles was not God, but he knew God so well that he was enough like God that he could have a unique individual relationship with many, even thousands, all at the same time. You can take your stinking cult there, buddy that's still alive. You can take your stinking cult and go to hell with Hiles. How disgusting to make a, to make a statement about a man like that. Rotting corpse in the grave is what Jack Hiles is, and his soul is in hell. 
And this man is, oh, he's just so much like God. Nonsense. Ah, oh, it's disgusting. Let's continue. I won't vex you much longer, don't worry. But more than was humanly possible was some sort of a supernatural ability that rubbed off on him by being close to God. He was a good friend to thousands of us all at the same time. You heard it there again. That idiot just called Jack Hiles supernatural. Part of God rubbed off on him. But it doesn't stop there. There are many ways that Brother Hiles was like the Savior, but in this area he was the best. See, common everyday folks just loved hearing and being around Brother Hiles. You know, the Bible says that God hates Nicolaitans, the deeds of the Nicolaitans, those men that seek to rule over the laity, over the common man, keep him down. There were many ways that Brother Hiles was like the Savior. It's nice being compared to Jesus by uh, this Jeff Owens, another loser from the Hiles cult. And these, these satanic heretics are all going out over America and preaching the gospel of no repentance. Preaching a false gospel. Let's continue. There wasn't an arrogant bone in his body. Oh, don't get me wrong. He was a class act. He never let his ability go to his head. He was a genius but he never talked above us. He was a genius, but he never talked down to us. Sure, sure, uh, yeah. Listen to some of the guys preaching. He was an incredibly arrogant, an incredible jerk. You know, there was a one pastor school thing where he stood up and he said, what are you all? And they're all like, everybody's supposed to answer, idiots, we're all idiots. There wasn't an arrogant bone in Hiles' body. Oh yeah, sure. Let's continue. Brother Hiles would go into the presence of the great God of the universe and bring things back to us common folks. He believed that the vehicle that best transported profundity was that of simplicity. Why? So that the common people could hear him gladly. Wow, isn't that something? One meteor between God and men the man, Jack Hiles. He'd go into the presence of, of God and he'd bring back the supernatural and give it to us stupid laity. What is that? It's a Pope. Vicarious Philly D. Faithful substitute son of God. Faithful substitute God, whatever you want to make that into. But the point is, it is a title of the Pope. These people are Catholics. That's what they are. They're not independent fundamental Baptists. They're Catholic. Masquerading as Baptists. Masquerading as Bible-believing Christians. Let's finish up here. So what are we going to do with what he gave us? All of us have so much of Jack Hiles in us. It's in our personalities. It's in our professionalism. It's in our relationships that no one rightly has, can declare to be the exclusive source of what Brother Hiles was, what he had to give. Nobody can say I'm the defining person for Brother Hiles. We all are. And that's where we're going to close it. That's the final video clip of Jack Scat saying Jack Hiles is in us. You see, that's the very, very definition of a cult. He controlled them. He told them what to say. He told them what to think. Now you can't discern the difference between Jack Hiles and his cult following. And that's really all that needs to be said. Jack Hiles, I don't believe for one second that the man was even saved. And if you have come through that system and you are bitter about it and you've watched this whole thing, let me just say, you've not experienced Jesus Christ yet. 
Because Jesus Christ would not have anything to do with that satanic nonsense right there. Jesus Christ, Jack Hiles did not know Jesus Christ. If he had, he would have been chastised. God would have stopped him from doing what he did. God would, I mean, folks, read the Bible and show me anywhere where anybody is working up into $70 million figures of real estate. Or even the equivalent of back then in the Bible times. It's not there. Show me where a Christian is doing that. And you say, well, what about King Solomon? King Solomon wasn't a Christian. And look what the money did to King Solomon. It ruined him. A thousand women to choose from, and he said, I can't even find one good among them. Jack Hiles was a very, very, very evil man. And it is time that we give him a proper memorial as Bible-believing Christians and give him the honorary title that he really, truly deserves of a satanic, lost minister of Satan and now citizen of hell. Because I don't believe the man was saved. And the movement that that man started has come out and destroyed the Bible-believing Baptist movement. He is the one who is responsible for easy believism. He is the one who is responsible for these cultic, huge mega buildings. And all the perversion that goes on, and all the evil, and all the wickedness. Jack Hiles has damned more people to hell in the 20th century than probably any other preacher. Jack Hiles was more evil than any Methodist, any Episcopalian, and I would say than most Catholic priests. He was a, a true minister of Satan. And let us remember him that way. That's going to be it for this study. And I thank you very much for watching. Don't get suckered in by these carnival preachers. That change... much we really need, all of us need to create excitement where we go. We love you, We really need Baptist Church in Hampton.